We've looked at programming and programming languages, but where did these come from and how did they get developed? That's what we'll be looking at in this section. So we'll be looking at first how HTML and CSS get developed. So here we have some HTML code that we've been looking at. Here's this input tag. Where did it come from? Why do we write it this way with this little angle bracket, then input, then there's a space? How did we end up coming to this conclusion? Or this, class equals configs. Why is it class? Could I have said category instead? And then why is it configs? Why is it in double quotes? Where did this come from? How did we determine this was the right thing? How did I just know? I wrote this, but how did I just know to write it like this? Or CSS. We have this box right here. It's got a rounded corner. How did I know how to achieve that visual result in the browser? So right now, this box, I've said in the CSS style rules, I gave it a background color of this, this color code, which is this slate gray, slate blue color. But then I also wrote border dash radius colon space 5px semicolon. How in the world did I know to write that and where did this come from? Who decided that if writing those specific characters achieves this ending visual result? Where did this come from? These come from standards bodies. So the standards body, the one that develops the standards for HTML, CSS, is the W3C. Now the W3C stands for the World Wide Web Consortium. So this is their website, w3.org. And over here we have the technical reports. Loading that page and scrolling down, we see the HTML 5.3 standard, and then another HTML standard, and then we see a couple of CSS standards. If we look at the HTML 5.3 standard, this specification for HTML, we can see that it's written by a number of editors here. And these are editors from all over the world. These are invited experts. Some of them are developers at big companies like Microsoft and Google, we see here. So this is developed by people, industry experts, and they come up with the specification for the HTML language.